Okay, girls, I'm here. Now. So what gift have you decided our class has got to get Mr. Lancaster? What? What have we decided? Yeah, this is supposed to be a group decision. The officers of the class were given the task of buying something nice for our teacher to get. Right, but shopping is kind of a girl thing, don't you think? Oh, please, that is so not PC. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. gender profiling. What? Turn, turn, five. We've got to find a present for our homeroom teacher, Mr. Lancaster. As president of our class, I make a motion that the vice president and treasurer should take the collected money and go buy this gift. All in favor? No way, man. No, Brody. The class entrusted us with all this money, and they asked us to make the decision. But I've got stuff I need to do. Exactly what stuff do you have to do? Well, I've got to be down at the department store in one hour, and my sister is in a Christmas pageant. And I thought I'd go check out the new system on display at the Game Depot. I'm so good now for Christmas that I'd go work on my skills. I don't think so, Brody. Majority, Majority rules. You're helping us shop for Mr. Lancaster. You just don't have any Christmas spirit, Brody. What do you mean? I've got the spirit. No, you don't. See, the Christmas spirit is when you stop thinking about yourself and start thinking of others. Really? So what do you call this? This what? Look around. Listen, these people don't look or sound like they've got the Christmas spirit either. Well, when Officer Paul, the mall cop, hears this, he'll make them stop.
and move it along. Nothing to see here. Merry Christmas, shoppers! I know it's nice to say that it's better to give than receive, but you've got a long Christmas list, too. What? What are you trying to say? Nothing. We just need to get this gift funding thing over with so we can move on to the stuff we want to do. Let's stop being picky and pick something. Perfect. Here's our gift for Mr. Lancaster. That was easy. Let's wrap it up. A light and makeup mirror? Yeah, the package says it's a 100-watt professional light and makeup mirror. I don't believe you. I bet he doesn't already have one. Do you gift wrap? Forget it. This is a special person, and he deserves a special gift. Do you like a chicken nugget? Ooh, I love these things. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Did I hear you were looking for a special gift for somebody special? Yeah. Totally. We need something special for our homeroom teacher. I know what we can get him. What? Who doesn't like chicken nuggets? You want us to get Mr. Lancaster chicken nuggets? Yeah, chicken nuggets are perfect. Do you gift her? Stop it, Brody. Ignore him, please. Well, if you're searching for something really special, I know of a great shop. They have things you won't find anywhere else. Really? Do they have video games? Brody! It's called Tiff's Gifts. Here's a card about the place. It's just right up the stairs next to the department store. Tiff's Gifts, coming for the great Christmas giveaway. Thanks, we appreciate your help. No problem. Tiff's Gifts, are you kidding me? Sounds like sissy things. I'd rather have chicken nuggets or a lighted makeup mirror. Well, let's at least check it out. Here we go. Hope you guys find something. And remember. It's better to give than receive. Would you by any chance be Tiff? Why, yes I would. And you are? Brody, class president of our homeroom. Ah, well, hail to the chief. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. Hi, I'm Ashley, the vice president. And I'm Haley, the treasurer. Well, president, vice president, and treasurer, then I must be Queen Tiff of the Land of Gifts. Pleased to meet you. Tiff, you look really familiar to me, but I've never been in this store before. I'm thinking the same thing. Whatever. We're in a hurry. We need to find a gift for our homeroom teacher. Well, what is your teacher like? I don't know. He's kind of old. Old? Yeah, like 30 or something. 30? <laughs> well, I can see your problem. Tell me more about him. Well, he wears cowboy boots. And I think he has a bowling trophy on his desk. And he reads a lot. Hmm, he sounds interesting. Tell me more about the reading part. What does he like to read? Most time it's the Bible. Okay, that helps a lot. I'll bet your teacher knows about the greatest gift ever given then. The greatest gift? Mr. Lancaster, I talked about that before. Mr. Lancaster, really? The Father gave the Son. The Son gave the Spirit. The Spirit gives us light. So we can give the gift of love
Hey there, Tiff. Hi, Tiff. Do you have our gift wrapped? It's right over here. It's beautiful. Our dad's going to love it. It's the perfect present for him this year. I think so. Wonder what perfect present they bought. Yeah, me too. I'll ask. Okay, Tiff, we'll take whatever thing you sold them. Well, it's not that kind of gift. Huh? Well, not all presents are things. Some can't be bought or sold. What do you mean? Tiff told us things can wear out, rust, or break. Tiff helped us find our dad something that will last a lifetime. That satisfy the longing in their hearts can't seem to deny. Some look for fashion and some want your toys. Anything and everything can bring them joy. Advertising has always promised so much more. It empties out the feet for shopping at the store. I heard the perfect presents that people. store and she's been helping us write thank you notes. They're notes to our dad. He's had kind of a rough year. He's been in and out of work and we wanted to tell him how much we love him. And Dylan and Stella, you sure have. And now we've wrapped up all those beautiful notes and put them in this wonderful box and it's ready to go under the tree. Oh, I see. Hmm. I hope your dad loves the present. No, I know he'll love the present. Merry Christmas, you two. Thank you, Tiff. Merry Christmas. Hey, guys, hope you find the perfect present. Thank you. So we'll give him a note. And tell him we love him. But what do we buy him? I vote we go back and get the lighted makeup mirror. No, Brody. Tiff, what's a good gift for a good teacher? Well, I know about a good gift that some people gave to a good king. Maybe that'll give you an idea. Well, can you hurry it up? I need to get to my sister's Christmas pageant. I'll try. Long ago, some wise men brought the king three gifts that were so unique that it still puzzles people today. You want us to get Mr. Lancaster a puzzle? Well, no, not a puzzle. Maybe these three gifts can help you discover a gift to find your Mr. Lancaster. That's right.
much gold do you think this money will buy? What? Brody, what are you thinking? Yeah, Brody, you want to see them gold cufflinks or what? I don't think Mr. Lancaster wears gold cufflinks. Um, well, what I mean is, do men even wear cufflinks anymore? My grandpa does, and he is old. But with cowboy boots? I see your point. So instead of giving him gold cufflinks, how about giving from a heart of gold, like the song says? A heart of gold? Is that like giving from your heart? I think it means you give your very best. And I think you're both right. And I wonder if Mr. Lancaster were here. Well, I wonder if he would say to look into the Bible for gifts that were given with a pure heart. Always come wrapped. We're so glad you opened the store. Yeah, for the past two years we've gotten all of our presents here. Enjoy. Merry Christmas. You've been here for two years? I've never even seen this place. I have once, but I never really wanted to come in. Tiff, why'd you open this store? It's kind of different. I'm glad you asked. It happened like this. Christmas time was approaching, snow was starting to fall, shoppers choosing their presents, people filling the mall, children waiting for Santa.
I want to make sure I celebrate Christ's birthday at Christmas time. It's all about him. So I was wondering, Tiff, what's your profit margin? What? Well, do you make any money here? Brody, that's not appropriate. He really does have issues. Now, before you start dissing me, let me explain. I've been trying to figure out if the whole point of Tiff's gifts is about helping us find a gift, or is it her gift to us? I don't understand. I think I've just figured out what Tiff is trying to show us. All along, she's been showing us to give like our Lord gave to us. First, God loved us so much, he gave us the perfect present, his love. Then he gave us his best, his one and only son. Oh, look, everyone. It's time for the Christmas pageant. Oh, Brody, look. There's your little sister. She's Mary, holding baby Jesus. Yeah, I see her. She's holding the greatest gift of all, Jesus. Brody, I think you've got it. And I think your teacher would be very pleased with your insights.
Hi, honey. I go to those pageants after school, and I got there early, so I... Oh. Mr. Lancaster, what are you doing here? Quick, hide the money. What's going on here? Well, guys, I figured out that you were talking about my husband. Your what? Yes, my husband. When you said cowboy boots, a bowling trophy, and an old guy who likes to read his Bible. Hey, who said I was old? So, Mr. Lancaster, you're married to Tiff? That's right. Five years last June. So where are my class officers doing at Tiff's gifts? Looking for a present for someone special? No. Well, guys, let's just be honest. Mr. Lancaster, we are in here trying to find a gift for you. Oh, I don't really need anything. But we've got all this money. Donations from the class. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, what do we do with it? I think I've got an idea of a gift that your teacher would like the most. Do you see that tree over there by the door? Uh-huh. Yeah. Tiff and I call this tree the Great Christmas Giveaway. As you can see, it's covered in gift tags. Each gift tag has a name on it, and each name has a special need. Like, here's a single mother who just needs a babysitter once a week. Oh, I'll take that. And, let's see. Here's a wonderful retired man who just needs help shoveling snow. Oh, I can help with that. Tiff, give it to me. And guess what? As you give, you get something in return. Really? What? You get the joy of giving. That's right, the joy of giving. Hey, I wonder if any of those kids would like a cool game system. I'm sure that would be wonderful, but... but Brody, you mean? Well, I've got, game, I've got lots of games that I haven't played yet, and I'd like to give my new, new one to somebody who would like it. Brody, that's great. Uh, it's nothing. Class presidents need to set an example, right? Come on, guys, let's choose some more gift tags from the tree and get started. If that's okay with you, Mr. Lancaster. It would be a joy. Tiff, now I know where I've seen you before. Mr. Lancaster has a picture of you on his desk. Oh, that's where I've seen you. Well, she's much prettier in person. <laughs> hey, I'm starved. How about we all go get ourselves some chicken nuggets? I love those things. I told you. Don't.